Hey, welcome back, Sweden, to your Care by Data Science channel. And a special walk out to the especially shout out to the 50 people who watched this video yesterday. Of those 50, 19 were under the age of 18, and 31 was over the age of 18. But thanks so much for every single one of those 50 uh, views yesterday. Of course, now, 50, uh, now I'd like to see you folks really go one step further and click on the like button because it'd be fantastic to get 50 likes on the video for this for this Sunday. Okay. Of course, as always, you know, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Uh, the share button, share button, very important. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter, and as well as emails and text messages. And of course, as always, don't forget to click the like button. The guy can say, Our goal for today is 50 likes. Okay, one like for every person to view the video. Okay, so uh, click that like button. That's that's our goal for today. Let's take a look at the vaccine. Uh, in terms of COVID 19 cases and deaths, we need to remind ourselves. That Sweden is only recording COVID-19 uh, cases and deaths Tuesday to Friday, but instead they're adding Sunday, Sunday, Monday's numbers on the Tuesday numbers, which is producing a huge major spike. Okay. So anyway, you can see the you know you can see the the creative administered 13.1 million doses. Uh, do I need to do something here? <sighs> Let's just try some here. Let's see if this makes any difference. Let's, let's try excluding NAs. <laughs> this is interesting. Well, that certainly made a difference, didn't it? So what this tells us is you begin, people keep saying, they're, uh, you know what, I'm not even sure what to make out of COVID-19 numbers in, uh, in Sweden, honestly. 68.9% vaccination rate with 60.3% uh, complete vaccination rate. Hmm. Again, these are all important uh, case and deaths for September the 8th. So none of, these, none of these numbers really make any sense at this point, do they? Okay, so let's just come over here to the COVID-19 uh, uh, data report. Okay, as again, we need to remind ourselves that the vaccine does not keep you from getting COVID-19. The purpose of the vaccine is to reduce the severity of the disease if you do get it. And by reducing the severity of the disease, you reduce the chances that you'll die. Okay, we need to keep in mind the single best determining factor is still age in terms of who lives and who dies from COVID-19. All right. Let's go back over here now. The trend is our friend. Uh, the spikes are the Tuesday numbers. You can see how crazy, how, how they totally just blow everything out of the water. Uh, <laughs> but you can see here, the trend is our friend. You had a long declining trend in cases. Now you're starting to see a bit of a trend back up, a pretty gradual trend back up. Hopefully this is temporary. Uh, 20 moving average. Let's see, for the 20 period ending uh, August is 28, you were averaging 995 cases per day. But look at look how look how low these numbers here are. Okay, look how low these numbers are. Your deaths are your deaths are still crazy low. Okay. Even if we come down here, you're seeing for the 28-day period ending August of 20th, you're averaging 1.6 deaths per day, Sweden, okay? And here's just some weekly numbers. Again, nothing radical. Just, it confirms what we've already seen, you know, this increase here in July, the double dipper here. This is uh, monthly cases. You can see that, uh, well, you know, August was, was up over the previous two months. September's already passed this first month here, it looks like, for cases. What about deaths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far, uh, you've had seven straight months decline in COVID-19 cases, Sweden. That's fantastic news for you folks, okay? So anyway, Sweden, let's go ahead and call a report for today.
Again, don't forget to click that subscribe button, the like button, and the share button. Thanks so much, Sweden. We'll catch you tomorrow as an updated report.